Salesian News Salesian. This is Salesian News. And my name is Enrique Santana. This is my co-anchor, Dylan Sanchez. And the word around the school and the talk around town is applying to college or not applying to college. Now we pass it over to Cyrus Lara. Uh, thank you, Santana. I'm here with a fellow brother, Carlos Lara. Hi, guys. Um, have you heard about the rumors that have been going on around the school? <laughs> if applying to college or not applying to college is worth it. Well, it's, it depends all in the student. If you're highly motivated and want to take your education to the next level, I guess it's a good thing to apply. Do you think you will be attending college? Oh yeah, I think I'm highly motivated and I have the skill sets to attend college. Okay. What are the benefits you see from the outcome of college? Mostly education. I want to take my education to the next level, you know, to gain more intellect and see what I can do from there. Well, thank you, that's all for now. I will be passing the camera back to Enrique Santana. Thank you, Cyrus. I'm here today with um, Jesus Hernandez, the class of 2016, almost graduating student. And um, I will be asking him the same topic. Uh, have you heard the topic of applying to college or not applying to college? Yes, I have. Do you think you will be attending college in the year 2017? Um, what are the benefits of not applying to college? Well, one, um, you save money, that's for sure. Another one, it takes a lot of time off your shoulders. And um, you necessarily can go online, go find a program. Even YouTube can help you learn some stuff. So, you're set. Thank you for your opinion. Hi, my name is Dylan Sanchez. And this is Dean Mr. Chavez. We're here at Bishop Morris High School. And we're going to be discussing about college, applying and not applying to college. Um, Chavez, um, how do you feel about a student not applying? A student not applying. Well, I I think it's a big mistake not to continue uh, your education beyond high school. There's different things you can do uh, after high school. You don't necessarily have to go to a four-year college. You can go to a two-year college. Uh, there are trade colleges out there and uh, different kind of learning institutions, but I think uh, a student needs to further their education beyond high school. Uh, high school education now, it, even though it's, it's, it's good, it's, it's not likely to give you a job opportunity uh, for the rest of your life uh, that you may want. So, um, and there have been several studies that have been conducted that uh, that indicate that students that stop going to school, especially in college, uh, a, a very small percentage of those students actually go back and continue their college. So it's very important to continue. Once you stop, the chances that you're going to go back and continue after studies show those chances are not good. What do you think about, uh, what, do you think college is the right path for graduating students? Well, again, I, I would say that it is for a lot of students, it's not the only path. I know students who have uh, gone into, say for instance, the military, and did, decided not to go to college right after high school and went in the military. Uh, they served a couple of years in the military and then when they finished their two-year service they came out and then went to college there. And I think maybe they were in a better frame of mind at that time to, to go and be successful at college. You know, going to college is is not always that easy. Some students um, maybe aren't mature enough or they're not ready to go to uh, college, especially a four-year college. And so, you know, there, it, it's not always the only choice, I would say. But I think for most, it's a continuation of their academic uh, career and they should certainly explore that as one of their, uh, their options. Thank you, Ms. Chapman. Okay, thank you.
Gibbons Chavez for that informational speech. And now here's the big question. Is college your future?